In this colour grading tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can expose and colour grade your S-Log3 footage from your Sony camera using Premiere Pro. And I'm going to start right now. So, when it comes to shooting in any log profile, you do have to treat the footage a little bit different than if you're shooting in a standard profile, for example. And S-Log3 is no exception. The first thing is you want to make sure that you're shooting at the correct ISO. Now, the base ISO of S-Log3 is 640. So, you want to make sure that you're shooting at that ISO or anything above. The actual dual native ISO of my Sony FX3 is 640 and 12,800. So, if I'm shooting in an indoor or outdoor environment, I try and shoot at either of those two ISOs. But again, it depending on the situation that I'm shooting in. The other thing you need to take into consideration is your exposure compensation. Now, if you're shooting standard profile, I recommend shooting at your correct exposure. But when it comes to log profiles, and especially S-Log3, you want to be shooting maybe one to two stops overexposed. Now you don't want to do that in every single situation, but I find for most situations inside a studio or if you're shooting in a kind of greyish environment, I like shooting between one to two stops over. I find for me that gets the best results. So once you've got your footage and you're happy with it, let's jump onto Premiere Pro and color grade our S-Log3 footage. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and import your video clips into Premiere Pro. Now so this video isn't really, really long, I'm just going to be editing four clips and show you how you can kind of um, match them all up to have a consistent look throughout. So as you can see, I've got clip one, I've got clip two, I've got clip three, and I've got clip four. And all of them are of a stormy Brighton seafront. And I actually really like a lot of the clips. So as you can see, all of them were shot in S-Log3. And as you can see, there is very little contrast in it and the colors are lacking. So how can we retrieve all of the colors in post? So what we want to do, so we want to go ahead and up, open up our Lumetri scope as well as our Lumetri color. So I've got my Lumetri scope on the right hand side here and then I'm going to go ahead and open up our Lumetri color and this is how we can color grade. If you haven't got any either of these open up on your Premiere Pro, simply go up to Windows and all you need to do is drop down to Lumetri color, making sure that's ticked as well as your Lumetri scope and add that to your Premiere Pro window. Right, so what we want to do first, we want to look at our Lumetri color and work out roughly what we're missing. So as you can see, all of the color is found in the mid-tones and there's nothing in the highlights and shadows, so we need to change that. So let's go over to our exposure here and bring that up ever so slightly. Then we want to add in a decent amount of contrast. So we're gonna add in contrast, I'm gonna add in, in about 80% here. And as you can see, we're mo moving our Lumetri scope around. So we want to make sure we've got some information in the 90 point and some information in the 10 points. So we really need to bring back down shadows. So go to my shadow slider here, I'm gonna bring that down. And as you can see, we're starting to stretch out all of that information you can see in our Lumetri scope. So I'm gonna bring down the blacks as well. I'm gonna bring down those highlights. And to, in, to combat that, because it's getting a bit dark now, I'm gonna increase my exposure. And we just wanna move stuff around until you are kind of overall happy with the result. So I'm gonna go for something similar to this. Now the problem also is it's quite undersaturated. So we've got our saturation slider here. I'm gonna go ahead and add in 150% saturation. And as you can see, we've got more saturation found within the foreground and background. We're adding a little bit more kind of color to the C there, which is nice. But I'm finding it's a little bit too yellow. So I'm gonna to go to my temperature slider here. I'm gonna go minus one on, uh, oh, I should go a little bit more on my temperature slider. Let's go for something, let's go for minus two, I think in this case. And then my tint, I think there's a little bit too much green. So I'm gonna to go to my tint slider, I'm just gonna go very subtle change, I'm gonna go for one point there. So what you really want to do is look at your Lumetri scope and you really wanna stretch that. So you've got information in the 90 and information in the 10. So you really wanna kind of pull that information apart. Otherwise, what will happen is everything will look quite kind of very lacking of contrast and it won't look very good. So you want to use basically your basics correction to fix it. And when what we're going to do is apply a LUT over it to add some color grading and add some color to that shot. Now what we want to do is basically do the same for the next shot, but 
because we've shot, or the information is very similar to the first shot, we can actually copy and paste all of our Lumetri color settings. So what you want to do is go to where you can see it says effects controls. And if we go down, you can see the effect we've added is Lumetri color. So what you want to do is right click on that and you want to go ahead and click copy. So we're just copying our Lumetri color effects. Then we're gonna to go to our next clip you can see here, making sure that's selected. We're gonna right click and then we're gonna go ahead and click paste. And what that'll do is it'll paste all of that information from our first clip to our second clip. And as you can see, it is now color graded. And then what we'll do is go to our next clip. We're going to go to make sure it's selected. Go to all your effects controls, right click, and we'll go ahead and select paste. And as you can see, color graded. This one's a bit bright. So what you can do is go to your Lumetri color and bring down the brightness slightly. So I'll probably take down those highlights a bit further, bring up those whites ever so slightly, and maybe bring down the, the actual exposure back down to zero. So we'll go for something a little bit similar to this. Then what you need to do is go to the very last clip, go to your effects controls, right click, and then go ahead and select paste. And then what we do is it will paste that again, a little bit too bright, as you can see by the metric color, it's all the way at 100. So we'll go ahead and bring down the exposure of this shot. But what we don't really want to do is make the white to look gray. So don't bring it back down too far. But as you can see, we're stretching all that information in our Lumetri scope, bringing a little bit more color back into our video. So you can see we've got shot one, shot two, shot three and shot four, which is now brought back to what we class as Rec 709 or the colors that you'd see kind of in, in nature really. Now, this particular effect only works copying and pasting if you shot in the same situation or shot in the same lighting. If you shot in two different types of lighting and you copied and pasted, it wouldn't necessarily work. So if you're shot in a very similar situation, you can copy and paste all that information. But if you didn't, you're gonna to have to basically go to every single clip and make sure that it is correctly exposed every single time. It may take some time, but it will come up with a better result overall and trying to match it all up so it's got roughly the same consistency when it comes to lighting and also contrast. So let's go ahead and color grade this footage. So what we want to do firstly, go back to where it says our project window. We're gonna go and click on the new item icon. I'm gonna go ahead and create an adjustment layer. You wanna make sure that you've got the height and width which matches your sample video and we're gonna go ahead and click OK. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it CG, standing for color grading. Then what you want to do is click and drag that above all of your four clips that you've added to your timeline. So I'm going to go for something like so. So it's affecting all clips. Now at the moment, it's invisible and it isn't currently doing anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my Lumetri scope on I'm going to go ahead to my basic correction, turn that off and go to creative. Now making sure that adjustment layer is selected, let's go to creative and let's go ahead and add in a LUT. So I'm gonna to go to my look here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click browse. Now what you want to do is add in the LUT of your choice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and offer this free LUT. Uh, this is my kind of cool blues LUT, which I like adding for a lot of winter style photos, but it really works well with this kind of overall look. So I highly recommend downloading it and I'll make sure to place the link in the description. And it's this coolblues.cube. I'm gonna go ahead and click open. And what that'll do is it will apply a LUT over every single clip. So you haven't got to add it individually, you've just got to add it to one single adjustment layer and drag it over all the entire clips. And as you can see, that look has now been applied. And as you can see, it is a big difference from the previous clip to the finished clip. And as you can see, all of the clips now, if I play through it, all of them are color graded. So yeah, I highly recommend using an adjustment layer to color grade all of your footage. And as you can see, I'm really happy with the results. And here is the before, and here is the after. And if this particular tutorial helped you out, make sure to write it down in the comments below.